there three weeks at a time. They get to have free time either here or outside, whatever they want to do. I think we're good. Why don't you go ahead and start reading the book? All right. So here is the book that I have brought to you. It's called A Story of Stories. And in order to read this book properly, I'm going to do a fake accent because this is how I read this book to my children when they were little. And my, my son is 17 years old. He's a senior in high school. And my daughter is 10 years old. Are any of you 10 right now? Bodie, Bodie, Kyler. I'm nine and a half. Kyler's so on. Bodie's on most 10. No, he's not. All right, listen to this. She's actually your age. And because um, she's going to turn 10 soon. And she still asks me to do this um, story because I can play a game with them with the story. So I'm going to read it. And then I'll show you photos too, or show you the book, so you can see the pictures as it goes. So this is a story, can you guess where this story might be set, just looking at this uh, picture, what place? All right, uh, somebody say the name one time. You can say it. Go ahead. A young lady, I'm going to call it, young lady in the uh, Pink dress and black boots and gray leggings. I think it's pink. Yes. You forgot. This is set in Africa. I'm going to start reading. Okay, everybody ready to listen? Yeah. Oh, so small children, run my knee. There were no stories on earth to hear once. All the stories belonged to Miami, the sky god. He kept them in a golden box next to his royal stool. Anansi, the Spider-Man, wanted to buy the sky god stories, so he spun a web up to the sky. And here is Anansi spinning the web that magically will take him up to the sky. So this is a magical story. When the sky god heard what Anansi wanted, he laughed. The price of my stories is that you bring me Osebo, the leopard. 